Now, spiritual disciplines, they are challenging. That's because, if we go back to that diagram, that's because they're applying positive kind of pressure to your mind, to your body, to your relationships. There's positive kind of uh, pressure that's being applied so that, that these other parts of you will yield to the lordship of Jesus in your life and not the other way around where your body and you know, your mind, it's like adding pressure to, to not follow Jesus. Spiritual disciplines help us to, uh, to like Paul did, you know, I beat my body, right? Make it my slave. Uh, he wanted his body to do what he had decided in his heart to do. Uh, so spiritual disciplines can be challenging, but they're intended to be challenging in order to do just, just that. So you're going to spend your life, right, following Jesus, and there will be different means. There will be different spiritual disciplines along the way. Uh, we talk, uh, you know, what are a few? One that you're already doing is going to church. Do you know that going to church is a, is a spiritual discipline? It's like it's, it's a choice that you've made to be in the, the community of God's people thinking his thoughts and, uh, you know, lifting high the name of Jesus. Uh, when you, as you grow as a disciple of Jesus, going to church will shift beautifully into being the church where you understand that the church is not a building and to actually be a member of the body of Christ and that, that spiritual discipline of being in the community often will shift and we encourage it to to a small group setting and, you know, from house to house where people actually know your name. You can come into a corporate worship setting like this, and if you time it just right, you can leave before the last song is over. You don't have to talk to a soul, right? Uh, as you grow in the spiritual discipline of being the church, it's the kingdom of heaven is built on relationships, relationship with God, relationship with one another, and you're drawn into this deeper um, this deeper uh, expression of God's family and the community of faith. And it's powerful and it's beautiful. That spiritual discipline will change you. It will support you in your pursuit of becoming more like Jesus. Uh, finding a Bible or buying a Bible, it's important. But please, you know, when I bought this guitar, had it on a stand, it sat in the corner of my room. And every day, most every day, I'd look at it as I decided to go do something else. And sometimes our Bibles can become like that, right? We know that there's God's heart and God's wisdom for us in this holy scripture. But it can sometimes, you know, sit in the corner uh, and we decide to do other things. Make sure God's word has its proper place. Another, another one that you may or may not be doing or ever heard of, you've probably heard of it, but it's a fantastic spiritual discipline and that we call it Fasting. Jesus talked about fasting. His, the Pharisees challenged him on why his disciples weren't fasting. And Jesus basically said, oh, don't worry, they will one day. Fasting is when you go uh, a period of time without food. If you go a day without food, it's a, it's a challenge for sure. But what's happening is you are applying positive pressure on your body because after a few hours or after a day, your body will begin to clamor for something that it wants, right? Right? But you've already made the decision, I'm not eating until tomorrow. And your body has to yield to your decision. And you learn so much spiritually when you do the spiritual discipline of fasting. It's really amazing. Uh, it, it helps us in our struggle in the flesh. You don't have to do what your flesh wants. Your flesh is clamoring for something. No. No. I'm following Jesus. And your flesh can yield to what you've decided to do. If you're struggling with addiction, or maybe you're struggling with, am I addicted to something? Could be a lot of things. Could be the traditional things that we get addicted to. Could be your device that's in your pocket. Could be binging Netflix. It could be... If you're just wondering, I wonder if I'm addicted to this, just go a week without it. And see how your body responds. See what your mind does if you go a week without it. And that will give you your answer whether or not you're addicted to it. The things that we are, are addicted, addicted to, unless we're addicted to Jesus, they all steal our time and attention away from his will and the kingdom of heaven in our lives. Is entertainment wrong? No, not at all. But nothing should take the place of Jesus in our lives. Do you agree? 
Nothing should. And fasting and even fasting media or social media, these are all good choices as far as the means to help us in the choice we've made to pursue the vision of the kingdom. 